in today's video i'm going to be sharing how i made a simple yet classy fascinator that you can put on for corporate events or for your civil wedding or that your bridal train can use alongside with their outfits hi viewers my name is susan and this is where i share all things diy crafts lifestyle family vlog you just name it so welcome to my vlog channel if you are new here and to all my ogs my old subscribers thank you so much for your support i'm going to be sharing links of some of the things i already created before i made this classy unique fascinator so these are all the items i'll be using i'll be using my lining my velvet fabric my already molded fascinator base i'll leave the link of how to mold this perfectly in the description box beneath this video now this is very simple to mold it's very simple to block i'll be using my rusty glue or my b6000 or my hot gun i don't want nipa to surprise me as i'm using all this so i'll also be using some embellishment and this beautiful flower that i already created as an accessory I also leave the link of that in the description box beneath this video. Alice Band. I'm using the smaller one. I've used this Alice Band for several projects. So I'm just repeating it again for this particular one since I'm using, using this fascinator for myself. Some scissors, some stones. And that's basically all what I used in this video. Please check the description box beneath this video for a detailed list of all the items I used. I also used matching thread, bias, and today's special shout out, special Vasha hug is for Alex. I hope I got your name pronunciation well. Thank you so much for your support. It really, really means a lot to me. So the first thing I did was to place my blocked fascinator base on my velvet and I'm going to cut this just like this. I'm I gauging the measurements i'm not using a standard measurement but if you are doing this you want to block it my base is a seven inches base at seven inches so if you want to if you want to create this just use a fabric that is is 10 inches by 10 inches both your lining and your your fabric i'm using a velvet fabric here make sure it's is 10 inches by 10 inches you will know why i'm giving that measurements if you've watched my fascinator base video so i added some some everesty glue into a bowl and i'm going to use my brush this brush i'm going to use it to apply the, the glue to this side that is facing that is facing me apply it well be generous with your glue and then once i was true allow the glue to film up a little bit before placing my fabric and smoothing out every edges please just watch the video to see i'm doing it it's very very simple the reason why it's advisable advisable to leave extra fabric at the four edges of your fascinator base is to give you something to work with an excess to work with when you're covering the inside of your cap you're covering the inside of your cap to some extent if you don't have an extra fabric you're going to find it hard doing that you're not going to have a neat job and just like when you're doing your fascinator base when you're molding or blocking your fascinator base you're going to be picking this fabric using the the four cardinal points as a reference that is a pick from the north then to the east to the west and to the south just like that i want to make sure the edges of your fascinator base the edges of the fascinator base is 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 smooth and having any fold just like when you're molding the fascinator base it's just that simple I'm 
after doing this you want to cut off the excess just like this the extra fabric the extra fabric you have is just to cover the edges of your fascinator base your lining is going to do the rest covering after you finish working on your fascinator base so this is me cutting off the excess fabric from your fascinator base for all my new viewers please please this is the right time for you to subscribe because trust me i'm going to be sharing lots of tutorials lots lots of helpful tutorials on this my channel yes i promise you that and to my OGs, thank you so much always for your support please always leave me a comment i would love reading your comments leave me a comment so once i was sure i got this my my face net it's face net they call it or veil or veil this net you can get it from your fascinator stores your millinery stores and i'm just going to measure the length i want that is how how long i wanted to cover my face and i'm going to use a matching thread with a needle to stitch it just like this i'm doing a running stitch if you look at this net very well you see it has points that are stuck to each other that comes to each other to form this diamond shape so is that point those points are going to insert your needle into to create that gathers so if you're doing gathers and then i'm doing this just like this and doing a running stitch and once i'm true i'm going to stitch this to my fascinator base i'll put this on, on my mannequin head i'll see where to sit well and i'm going to stitch it just like this so this is how it was created next i got this beautiful crinoline flower i'm going to be leaving a link of how i made this flower in the description box beneath this video and i just attached it to it and i'll stitch it very well now when i was creating the veil that is that net i discovered that it was very difficult for me to pass my my needle through those tiny tiny dots so i just run i ran my needle into the hole into each hole to create a gathers and then i stuck it or stitched it into my fascinator base you see i'm doing all this before placing my my lining yes you want all this to be hidden you don't want your clients or customers to it and you want to have a neat job so you can put you can use um a rusty glue to attach your flower on this fascinator base but i like something that is durable something you can wear for a long time so that's why i'm using my my needle and my machine thread to tack it So I did the covering of the inside of the fascinator off camera. I first of all attached my Evosti glue, placed my lining and then um, attached my bias tape to cover the edges and that was it. I didn't want to bore also the details because it's very simple. I already shared I did the top so I am assuming we understand as to the center and if you don't understand don't worry don't worry i will share in order of my fascinator videos how i cover the inside of my fascinator base then i went ahead and added some hot glue gun hot glue to my to my alice band and then i placed it where i wanted it to be and that was how i created this beautiful fascinator i did this under 20 minutes yes it's very simple to make now you can use elastic band you can use elastic band but i'm using this this alice band so the way you want it to be the side if you want it to be on the left side if you are doing this for a brighter train you want to do it on the left side you want the, the cap base to be on the left side while if you're doing this just for like a corporate event or to wear to, to your church or just to wait for an event anything you can put it wherever you want if i doing this for a brighter train make sure your base is on the left so that's all for me for today i hope you enjoyed this video 
and i really really want to see your comments your likes and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and please check the description box beneath this video for a detailed list of everything i use with the measurement and some other tips if you're also doing this for a client you want to add a little fabric to where you attach the alice band just to conceal where the alice band was placed you can also place your label there if you're selling out i'm not selling out so i don't need to place my label there so you can place a label there just where you place your alice band and that is all so thank you so much for your support and i'll see you in subsequent video i also went ahead to add some stones on the cap base just to give it a, a unique look a classic unique look i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for your support see you in subsequent video and bye